a result of this unprecedented situation. This relief will help stabilize the small business sector by providing businesses with the financial resources they need to keep their workers employed and keep up with their day-to-day -day operating expenses. Today, I want to ensure that small businesses all over the country know about the Paycheck Protection Program and how they can benefit from this. Simply put, the Paycheck Protection Program is to help keep employees on payroll and small businesses open. SBA will forgive the portion of the loan that is used toward job retention and certain other expenses. We are working closely with lenders so that businesses can go directly to their local lenders. Paycheck Protection Program is in addition to substantial work that the SBA has and will continue to do to help small businesses, including providing advances on SBA disaster loans and forgiving existing SBA loan payments over the next six months. Additional details on these critically important programs can be found at sba.gov, and we will be updating these resources regularly. Our hearts go out to those affected by this terrible virus. Our communities around the country are stepping up, and we will get through this together. At SBA, we know that every phone call, email, or application submitted has a small business owner, their employees, and the communities they support are on the other side. Our most important objective is to allow small businesses to keep their employees on board and keep their businesses viable through this unprecedented disruption. I want to reiterate the importance of patience in this process as we work together to ensure that businesses are able to access needed credit. We will continue working around the clock as we've done with our federal and private sector partners expanding capacity and working to make our systems as robust as possible to meet the needs. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you, Javita. Mr. President, you've made clear to us we now need to execute. We need to get money to small business and American workers, and that's what we're doing. The SBA and Treasury committed to get this program up and running tomorrow, and when Javita says people working around the clock, they literally, we had both teams working till 4 o'clock in the morning and start working again today. We've heard feedback from lenders, community banks, regional banks, and we spent the last 24 hours making this system even easier. So this will be up and running tomorrow. I encourage all small businesses that have 500 or fewer people, please contact your lenders. Any FDIC institution will be able to do this, any credit union, existing SBA lenders, and FinTech lenders. Uh, you get the money, you'll get it the same day, you use this to pay your workers. Please bring your workers back to work. If you've let them go, you have eight weeks plus overhead. This is a very important program. Uh, I'm pleased to announce uh, we are going to raise the interest rate on these loans. And again, the interest rate is paid for as part of the program. The borrower doesn't have to pay this to 1%. Uh, we had announced it was going to be 50 basis points. We've heard from some smaller community banks that their deposit costs, uh, even though the government's borrowing at three or four basis points, this is on average a 90-day loan. To make this attractive for community banks, we've agreed to, to raise the interest rate. Again, I encourage everybody, take out the Paycheck Protection Program. I'm also pleased to report the economic impact payments. Uh, I had previously said this would take us three weeks. I'm pleased to report that within two weeks, the first payments will be direct deposit into taxpayers' account. And as the President said, last night the President authorized me to say that anybody that has Social Security recipients won't need to file a new tax return, and we'll have that. If we don't have your direct deposit information, we'll be putting up a web portal so that you can put that up. Uh, it is a very large priority. The President has made clear we want to get this money quickly into your hands. I'm also pleased to report that we continue to work closely with the Federal Reserve. We're in the process of designing a new facility that we call the Main Street Lending Facility. We're also looking at facilities for state governments as well. And I'm also pleased to report the employee retention credit. It's up and running. The first $10,000 
of wages. You get a 50% credit, that's $5,000 per person. And for everyone who's kept someone, you can immediately get that money. You can deduct it from what you owe the IRS immediately. If you don't owe us money, you'll get a refundable tax credit. So that is up and running. I'm also pleased to report we have the program up and running. We're taking applications from the airlines, from the cargo companies, and from national security companies. So thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Steve. For Jovita or Steve, any questions, please? Yes. Uh, Mr. Secretary. A Chase Bank sent a letter to its business clients today saying that they, they don't have the necessary guidance from the SBA, from the Treasury Department, to be able to accept loan applications starting tomorrow. The need is clearly enormous, uh, but at least one major bank says they're not fully empowered yet to be able to help their well, as, as I spoke to all the CEOs yesterday, I had a conference call with them. We got very good input from them on what they needed. As I said, people were working till 4 o'clock. I believe we just put up the Federal Register with the new guidelines for lenders. Um, I've been assured that the banks will be in the process starting tomorrow. Now, again, it's going to take a little bit of time, but we committed that this will be available tomorrow, and I encourage all companies, go to SBA.com, go to Treasury.gov. You can see the information you need immediately. Mr. Secretary, I just Secretary. follow up with the small business owners. A number of them saying that they were on that conference call and that there's a tremendous power struggle going on uh, between the Treasury and, and SBA, and that act, it's over process and forms is what they tell me, that lenders are actually opting out because they can't make enough money to even service the loans. So how are you going to make sure these small business owners get the capital they need to survive right now? Well, first of all, I can assure you, Jovita's here. Jovita used to work for me as the treasurer. There's no power struggle. Uh, Jovita and our team, as I said, worked together till 4 o'clock in the morning, started working at 7 o'clock again. We've made the form simpler. And uh, I can assure you, at five points, uh, I've told these bankers they should take all their traders and put them in the branches. So it's, there'll never be another opportunity to earn five points on a 90-day government, fully government-guaranteed loan. And this checks right into direct deposit. IRS now saying it could take four to five months. You're saying two weeks. Well, let, let, me be, us, let me be clear. I don't know where you, let me be clear. I don't know where you're hearing these things. I told you this would be three weeks. I'm now committing to two weeks. We're delivering on our commitments, the IRS, which I oversee, within two weeks, the first money won't be in people's accounts. Yeah, just to follow up on that, I know the question is not about the first checks. For folks who have direct deposit, it sounds like those will go up pretty quickly. The question is then for folks who don't have direct deposit, and there was a staff sure. memo that was released by the House Ways and Means Committee today saying that that process could take up to five weeks. That takes you to mid-August. Is that how long that, it's going to that, take? That is not going to take five, months, five. I'm sorry. Again, let me just say, when Obama sent out these checks, it took months and months and months. I am assuring the American public they need the money now. What we're going to do is, again, if we have your information, you'll get it in two, in, within two weeks. Social Security, you'll get it very quickly after that. If we don't have your information, you'll have a simple web portal. You'll upload it. If we don't have that, we'll send you checks in the mail. How many checks can you process a week, though? How many checks can you? Again, we can process a lot of checks, but we don't want to send checks. In this environment, we don't want people to get checks. We want to put money directly into their account. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. This is for, I guess, both you and the administrator. Um, there have been some anecdotal reports that uh, business people are trying to get uh, access to the online site to submit the applications. The website's been crashing. I've heard of webinars uh, going offline because there's just too many people on them. So how are you guys going to be ready you know, tomorrow to get these loans out? Uh, we, we've brought in a lot of external resources at SBA and us to make sure there's additional capacity. As I said, we heard a lot of good feedback yesterday to simplify this process. Uh, it, it's going to be up and running. Now, let me just be clear. That doesn't mean everybody is going to get their loan tomorrow. But the system will be up and running. We encourage people over the next week sign up. You can go on right now. You can go on the web, see what information you need. Very simple process.